I'm gonna show you how to do the trap hi hats in an NPC software. It's a little bit complex, you know. It's not easy in FL Studio. However, you can do it in the NPC software and get the same results. Check out this video. What up? All right, so to keep this simple, I'm gonna do a two bar loop, 120 tempo. Um, and I want to go have one sound on the pad just to keep it simple. As you can see right here, I have the hi-hat on my pad. And if you can tell, you know, I'm not really getting the pitches or uh, the key groups while I hit the key. So, I'm going to start my tempo at 120. And I'm going to go to Cree group because I want to create this as a Cree group. That's the only way you can get the trap because if you do it just the regular way, you're not going to get the pitch modification. So when I hit no repeat, that's all it's going to do. It's going to play that one pitch so I can't go up and down the key. So I'm going to make sure I have my, my um, the sound that I want to go in the key group to make the trap sound. So I got my hi-hats, I have my hi-hats selected. So I'm gonna go right here to key group. And as you can see, now my I can pick up all my uh, trap hi-hats. However, you may not get this the first time around. You have to go to program edit and make sure that is selected on the pad. Because if I hit none, I'm not gonna get anything. So, after you select the sound that you want, hit this bottom panel right here. And it, 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 it uh, go to the program editor. And you wanna go right here where it says sample layers, you just wanna hit hi-hats. So you can get that sound. Now I'm looking good. So let's um, start off with a melody. So I'm going to go to track two. That's going to be my melody. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go to that. Yeah. It's going to record something simple. Right, so let's just make it 110. Now I want to mess around with these hats. So I'm going to go back to the track one where I have my hats. Matter of fact, I'm going to name this hat so it won't be confusing. Okay. So now that I got my hats, I'm going to go here to the, uh, the, um, the piano roll. And I want to make that longer. To make that longer, you just want to click, click this right here. So, now I'm looking good. So, now I'm going to use my draw tool and just draw in the notes. Or you can hold down note repeat if you like. Now it gets interesting. Now you can 
can move this up and down if you want. Now that sounds a little boring. Now how can we make it interesting? Well, I could select this mini event right here and go to track, go to edit, go to track, and hit split events. Uh, let's hit three to give it more character. Now you can also do this if you want. So let's do the same thing for this note right here. You can go there and let's try splitting it into four. Go to track, go to split events, and let's go to split four. And let's see how that sounds. Sounds a little bit better, right? So you can also give it more character. You could take one of these notes and move it down a semitone or a note. So I'm gonna take that, move it down, I'm take this one, and just hit the arrow when you do this on the keyboard because when you drag it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't select it real good. So I'm using the keyboard to move these notes up and down. So I want that to go right there. And I want this note to go even further to give you know the hi hats more flavor. So let's see how this sounds. So draw notes in from different time measures. So let's go here and change the grid. Edit time correct. Let's go to time correct. So I'm one eighth right now. Let's try uh sixteen. basics of it you know you just got to play around with it and see what's works for you but that's pretty much how you do the trap hi-hats in the MPC software now you can also put like stutter effects and stuff like that to make it out and bring it out a little bit more but this is the basic foundation of how you do the trap hi-hats so like share subscribe peace <laughs>